AI is, uh, is real from what we're seeing from a uh, software side. Uh, actually, every customer we have, uh, because SaaS is a provider of advanced analytics, we've been around for uh, 48 years, and uh, we've been seeing this uh, big shift in AI. Now, how to make AI uh, useful and actually generate ROI, that's, uh, that, that's a bit more challenging. And so right now, from a hype side, we're kind of going towards the disillusionment part of that. That does not mean that it, it's not going to drive uh, positive outcomes uh, going forward. For example, it's, re it's really good at uh, segmentation and detection. And we see a uh, number of uh, banks and insurance companies utilizing it to do hyper-personalization, which is really changing the nature of customer experience and uh, uh, ultimately better tailoring the products and, uh, and the outcomes, which, which is a win-win on, on both sides. I mean, we see it as a huge uh, you know, boost in productivity, especially on the research side. I mean. Uh, you know, it's, it's like a research assistant on steroids. It, I mean, you still have to have a human in the loop. And so then it also creates a uh, stronger demand for subject matter experts, the ones who can tell whether it's a hallucination or whether something is uh, real. And that, uh, you know, that, that changes kind of the, the, the nature of the, the, the employment landscape as well. And so that goes back to the whole great bifurcation the theme uh, again, is that they are going to be winners. They're going to be winners uh, among the, the, the corporates who will adopt AI and who will see those productivity gains, and there will also be companies who, who will fall behind or whose uh, business models are, are going to be disrupted. So I think the implication of the AI is really that active management now is more important than ever, and I think there will be a lot more opportunities for uh, active managers be because do, of the disruption. Do, do, 